Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the Titan Chain Snow Alloy Tire Chains here today on our 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500. Now guys, this is gonna be a very decent way of giving yourself a nice little chain to go ahead and get yourself some traction through that snow and ice. So here today we do have a diamond style square link set here. So it's not gonna be your most aggressive chain out there. You are gonna have to start looking at some twisted link and even up into your V-bar support links to go ahead and really bite through that snow and ice. However, this will still, still do a great job of just giving you a good start to getting some traction through that snow and ice. One thing that's nice about it, of course, not gonna be too damaging to your driveways. That's kind of the other disadvantage you have with um, your V-bar, your more aggressive option of chains, is that they actually can start impacting you negatively for your um, road conditions that you're driving on. So they're not great for your road. You usually have to put them on when you actually get on that snow and that ice. What's nice about these guys, we're gonna be able to get these guys on in the garage and hopefully not do too much damage to it. Of course, I wouldn't take it too fast uh, when you're on that. And with that too, you guys are gonna have a speed rating of about 30, 30 miles per hour with these guys. And that's just kind of with any chain. Um, and of course, we're gonna be in those hazardous conditions. So we're gonna have to be driving safely for ourselves. Now, these guys are very, very easy to throw up on here as you guys are gonna see later on in that installation of how we get them on here. But you're still getting nice coverage of your chain throughout the entirety of the wheel, which is great. You are having that diamond style pattern. What that means, you're having constant coverage contact of your chains throughout here. You can see only these little spots where my hands fitting into it. Now that offers you some advantages over your ladder style chains. What that means is that ladder style is great for your start and stop maneuverability. That means when you're going on the road, you're gonna have that great traction control because you have those hills and valleys you're having to overcome every time. However, that can start negatively impacting your turning radius as you have to overcome those as well every time. So you're fighting those hills and hills and valleys. What's nice about the tire, the diamond style, you're having that constant contact. So you're not really having in those dips that you're feeling nearly as much. These guys are having a great continuous pressure on your wheel. And you can even see these middle um, kind of vertical or horizontal, I guess, depending on how you're looking at the wheel of connectors between the chains, that's giving you that constant contact, which is great. So it doesn't really impact your turning radius nearly as much. Now we are going to go ahead and show you guys how to get these installed. One little thing to take note of though, we are here today on the rear wheels because most of your Silverados are gonna be that rear wheel drive. However, one thing to look forward to is gonna be your tire size. So we are working on 275, 65, R18 there for ourselves, guys. So keep in mind that is the wheel we are working on here today. Yours might be just a little different. Make sure you are putting your wheel size in the fit guide to make sure you're getting the right change for yourself, of course. Well, let's go ahead and see how we can get this on here in no time at all. All right, everyone, to get this installed, what we wanna do is go ahead and lay out our change just like so. What we're looking for here, any kind of kinks or binds in our chain, of course. Now, what can end up happening? Sometimes they just get rolled up on top of each other, easy enough to just kind of walk them out. Sometimes, too, these cables like to get looped through these guys. Of course, we got anything binding us up on here, that's great. At the top here, you guys are seeing we have our smooth side. On the other side is our hard points of contact. So we're actually gonna be throwing this under around our tire and bringing it up. So this side is actually what's gonna be making contact with our tire, the side that's facing us, as we're gonna be enveloping our tire. So we want those hard points of contact to be on the other side because we don't want to be ending up degrading, puncturing, ripping, or otherwise any kind of other damage to our tire that could lead it to deflating. Therefore, we have that hard point of contact to the other side. So I can go ahead, take our chains just like so. I like to go ahead and try to get these guys in close here on the plastic. And then we can just take these guys around, keeping them close to that plastic allows us to throw that over to the other side. And I like to go ahead and just take my chain out here and get this kind of uncaught from underneath the tire, of course. And that's gonna be our bottom connection there, so that's great. And we can go ahead and take our two connections here on our cable, guys. And while we do it, we just kinda of wanna fit that chain around, and then we make our first connection here. So, and then I go ahead, grab my chain, and pull it around. So I just want to conform this to my tire, of course. And then we can take our first connection up here, guys, which is going to be our extra yellow track here to our green connector, just like so. And now we can make sure that our chain is sitting properly on our tire around our wheel. So then we can go ahead and take our extra connection here. We're going to loop it through the bottom here on this connector. Getting it nice and tight, trying to take out all that extra slack that we can. Of 
course, helpful to keep it in that track. Just like so. Standing up can help kind of get it really in there. We simply want to take our end here, run it through our holders, and then bring this guy back across here to the other side of our wheel. Now, one thing you can do, guys, kind of take your hand on this guy, pull yourself here, get all that play, and then take that rubber and bring it across to that other side. As you guys are gonna see, that's gonna give us good contact on here. One thing you can do from this position as well, guys, is to go ahead and roll your vehicle forward or back, make sure it's seating properly, and then really start cinching it down one more time. So as it stands, I think we have a good fit. Again, maybe if you do find yourself putting these on more often, going to this second connection may have just a tighter fit. Well, as you guys saw, that installation doesn't take too much time at all. I'm a really big fan of tire chains when I don't have to get under, underneath of my vehicle. Of course, the Silverado sits up tall, so if you are looking at some other chains, that's not going to be the most deciding factor. However, it's never too much fun crawling in that snow and ice, especially if you find yourself having to throw these on somewhere on the side of the road. What I like about it, makes it really easy to put these on before we get going. And secondly, also, if we need to, we can pull off or B or C, I guess I should say. If you do find yourself in that muck and mire, you're going to have no trouble throwing it on there and getting yourself out of a sticky situation, which can be great. It does come with this nice little traveling case of, as well. Makes it really easy to go ahead and throw this guy in here. You guys can see it has a little divider to go ahead and hold it in there, which is actually quite nice. This is going to go ahead and prevent you from getting that muck and mire in the inside of your vehicle. Now, of course, the Silverado always could just go ahead and throw it in the bed of the truck, but nice that we have a way of getting it there safe and sound for ourselves. Now, maintenance on these guys with any chain can be helpful to go ahead and, of course, clean it off and dry it, store it properly for yourself. Uh, a little bit of oil and grease can go a long way, too, of making sure that these guys are going to last for the seasons to come, especially if you have long down times where you're storing this in the garage. Getting these in a nice, cool, dry place can go a long way of making sure they're ready to go the next time we need them. Well, guys, I think that that about does it for our look at the Titan Chain Snow Alloy tire chains here today on our 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.